A couple of videos back, we uh, stripped down this lovely Addict Gravel tuned, moved all of the parts from this frame over to a new frame in preparation for a bike trip that I'm doing in two days time. But I really, really like this frame and I don't wanna let it go to waste. So I thought we'd turn it into something unnecessary, but cool. Oh, and this is 100% uh, not allowed and will probably void your warranty if you have this frame and try it at home. So don't do this at home. This is Nick from Backyard Bike Shop and if you turn up to one of his shop rides on a normal gravel bike, then you will die. Fact. These aren't gravel tires. Technically road slicks. They are gravel tires. That's gravel tires. Trust me, you'll thank me for it later. So this is what all the people that turn up to Nick's rides use. 650B wheels. This is a smaller wheel, which means you can get fatter tires fitting into your normal road frame or gravel frame. In this case, we're gonna put uh, these massive mountain bike tires on, which are 27 and a half inch, which is exactly the same as 650B. Not entirely sure that they'll fit, but we might as well try. In addition to the massive tires, we also have very wide handlebars. These are flared and 42 centimeter, which are a little bit too wide for me, but the rides are short, so hopefully it will be okay. You know, like mountain bikers ride 800s, you know? Yeah. You wanna go slightly wider for... Where are the 800s then? But slightly wider, I would always say, like, if you're riding 40s on the road, ride 42s, if you're doing a bit more extreme gravel. Extreme gravel? No, just northeast gravel. Northeast gravel, none of this London gravel nonsense. What are you doing here? I was going to film a bike build, but I can't be asked dealing with you two cocking about for the next 12 hours, so... I fucking went off. Like, pre done everything. Not interested. This bike will take me like an hour to build after I've done all of this. Yeah, exactly, and then I haven't got a bloody video. You do? It's just we're not messing about. No steroids cut because it's already cut. Wheels are cleaned, unlike last week, so I just need to pop tyres on it. <laughs> oh, they do look good. I've been busy, yeah. I've been cleaning. Are they new? They look new. Why are they and so then... small? What are you talking about? They're not that small. <laughs> oh, it's quite small, yeah. The bodge job of the century. Cause, Bodging. Well, because we don't have. You bought me a group set, it came with a bike that runs external cable routing and it's going internal. So we can't put a junction box or like the charging port on there. You need one of them handlebar ones. Just stuff it all inside but the But you don't have it. <laughs> well, that's what we're doing. Yeah. But it means to charge this bike or to know if you've got any charge, you're going to have to take seat bursts out. So we've taped it, but. Basically, bodge job of the century. That damn cable doesn't go in there. Well, at first I thought it was like a 2.3, but it's 2.1, so... If it doesn't fit on your bike, it's definitely going onto my bike. Hopefully it doesn't fit, so I get free tyres. They're cool, aren't they? I'm gonna get a set. Oh, yes! Shimano says the new DI2 is much faster. Yeah, than the old DI2. But I mean, the SRAM makes much faster than that. Your XX1 on your other bike shifts twice as fast as that. I don't think anybody's ever complained that our oh, MX shifts too slow. We've established that. What have you established? Out of the three of us, it's not Francis myself that's slowing builds down. Oh yeah. Because you're gone, mm -hmm. and we've done this bike in 45 minutes. Yeah. So it's you. Instead of the usual shaman, so it's you. Do you really genuinely think that this new Vieri face is trustworthy? <laughs> Francis. Is this a bike shop? So the group set we're using is GRX. This is what was on one of my older bikes. We stripped the whole thing down. It's a double. It's DI2. That was your excuse for not riding gravel through this the is entire actually... lockdown. What? This not big having... road? Not... Yeah. And you yeah. couldn't get a new one. Yeah. Shimano hates you. Now you ride Tram, which is much better. They did actually send me the little piece. Inside, yeah, it doesn't go into that. And it doesn't fit, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I can't take them out. Uh, Shimano tried. This has been broken for ages and ages. No, no, it no. crashed on it. Uh, so we've put a new shifter on, which is very nice. They didn't try. They sent you something that's not even for that lever. Yeah, we tried. So ungrateful. He's in a funny mood today, isn't he? He's always in a funny mood. Near me. So we've got DI2 GRX 2x. It's electric and used. I don't even know if it chains all right. 100% would not recommend this. I remember back in like, I think it was 2004, Comeback brought out a thing called Two Way Fit. Nobody knew what it was. So, I mean, we were a Comeback dealer, we didn't know what it was. And then essentially later on, it was, it was tubeless. With Hutchinson tyres, you ran Hutchinson tyres in 2004, you could have done road tubeless. The latest 2004. Not bad at all. 8.5. So what I've made here is a bike just for riding with Nick. 
I had to come and find somewhere which is its natural habitat to show you. So a full rundown of the spec. This is an Addict Gravel tuned frame set, size small, matching Synchro seat post, matching Synchro bar and stem, which is combined carbon one piece in 42 centimeter. Group set is Shimano GRX Di2. They only make one version of this, I'm pretty sure, which is the 815 for a change not one by so i've got a double on the front which is a 46 30 and on the back an 11 30 cassette so a one to one ratio loads of gears fantastic for riding through mud wheels are parkour alters the 650b version so they're super wide gravel specific wheel set with hutchinson taipan 27 and a half inch mountain bike tires on as you can see on the front loads of room on the back you probably can't see it on camera there not so much it is so so close on the back that in all honesty I would rather have a smaller tyre. So I'm going to have a look and see if I can mix and match tyres, put a slightly smaller one on the back, otherwise mud's going to get in between that little gap between the chainstay and the tyre and rub a hole in my frame. And I'd rather not rub a hole in my frame. Now depending on what frame you have, a lot of manufacturers don't recommend using 650B wheels. Officially, with the Addict Gravel, this isn't recommended. But I thought I'd give it a go just to see what the bike would ride like. Depending on what tyres you end up using, you can end up lowering your bottom bracket quite a lot. The bigger the tyre, the bigger the circumference ends up being, so it ends up being closer to 700C in the end. So you just have to be really careful that you don't end up lowering the bottom bracket loads and loads and loads, and then you get a pedal strike on everything. Other bits on here, Shimano Altegra rotors 160 front and rear these were the ones i think they were on a bike that i had years ago before grx came out so everyone rode ultegra gx on gravel because that's what was available they're still going strong nice to have big rotors when you're riding off-road silka super thick bar tape 3.7 millimeters thick bidlock magnetic bottle cages specialized roaming i think that's a roman and then some shimano spd xt pedals to finish things off all in all, a slightly heavier build than the last one because of the 2 by and big fat tyres, but still not that heavy. Looks cool. I really want to ride it, and that's what counts in a bike. You might be wondering why Nick and everybody at the bike shop doesn't just ride hardtails. I'm wondering that too. But sometimes you've just got to ride what you have and have fun. And that looks fun. And it's quite windy out here. First ride on that new build has got to wait because today I'm packing and then leaving for two and a half months. Stay tuned to these videos to find out where and rest assured, I'm gonna be uploading quite a lot. See you guys soon.